Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review a ROM called Dirty Unicorn ROM. If you go to the settings menu, about phone, you can find I am using Dirty Unicorns ROM. You can find features list here and other Dirty Unicorn related information. This ROM is uh, Dirty Unicorn version 9.4 which is based on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. And you can find other kernel information and other information there. So, talking about this ROM, it is a really lightweight ROM and it is really fast. Let's go and check out the basic features like this is the dialer, contact application, and messaging application, and web browser. So, that's are the basic applications, and you can find the weather icon and Google now. If you pull down the notification area, you can find clock, calendar, weather. Tapping on the battery, I can it list the battery settings, and from here I can choose the battery saver option. And then clicking here, I can choose between the users, and you can see all the toggles here along with brightness control. If you click on the settings menu, and then you can find all the regular settings you used to find in almost all the ROMs. Besides that, here is the dirty tweaks, which is that this ROM's exclusive dirty features. So, if you click on miscellaneous tweaks, you can find disable image mode, notification decker, double tap to sleep on status bar, double tap to sleep on navigation bar, other options you can find. So, you can customize all these options. Next one is LCD density. From here, you can change the DPA of the phone. Next one is lock screen shortcuts. You can customize all these three lock screen shortcuts by tapping it and assigning a new application. Next one is the weather settings. You can show weather and extend status bar weather if you want to sh see the weather here. Next one is the app shortcuts. If you, you can add any application and other, other options in the lock screen and you can directly turn on that application from the lock screen. So next one is the status bar from here. First one is the traffic indicator. If you going for the outgoing and incoming, you can see the notification. You can traffic monitor in the notification area. You can do that. And then you can customize the clock and the date by changing whatever things you need. Next one is battery options. You can change the battery to cycle or you can add percentage options, other color changes you can make. Next one is quick settings. So this is the quick settings option you, you can find. Show brightness slider. Show four tiles per row so it will show four tiles. And you can also customize the Toggles in the notification area. Keep pull down option is there. Next one is the career level. If you want to show any career level details there, you can add that and then customize the level. Next one is the breathing notifications. Like if you if a new SMS or missed call or voicemail came, it will the notification light will be breathing. Next one is the navigation option. In the navigation options, in the button, you can customize the button if you need. Customize all the buttons in the node hardware buttons. You can customize all the buttons, but and all functions should do while pressing different buttons. So that's all about the buttons option. Next one is the navigation bar. If you are preferring navigation bar, on screen navigation bar, you can customize the buttons and you can add buttons, you can do other things. So you can customize navigation bar also. Next, you can, if you want, you can add slim pie. You can customize all these options. Like triggering option is there. From which area the pie control should trigger. You can specify all these options. Besides that, there is the multitasking. If you want to switch to Omni switch, you can do that by turning on this one. So it will show this. This is the pie control and this is the omni switch so using this you can it's actually a replacement for the task manager if it's gesture anywhere if you type this one clicking here and then you can specify any gesture for any application you can add any application to specify gestures if let's see i'm adding calculator 
and then I'm providing C as a gesture and done next time if I tap here and then type C it will open the calculator so that is about the gesture anywhere you can play with that it's a cool feature next one is the app circle bar but this is the app circle bar so I can choose from all these application I can even include applications if I want so that's all about the app circle bar next one is heads up display if you want you can add and you can also do the do not disturb or blacklist applications. So try the system. In the system you can customize the power menu options that you use just find in these options. You can add more features there. In the recent panel you can show the memory bar. Another options you can do with the recent panel. And I will show you the recent panel. The recent panel is default by default it's disabled so I'll go and turn on the, the recent panel for now I'll customize it to come on the long press so this is the recent panel it looks really nice this is the slim recent panel this is one of the cool feature I found in this room this is actually a slim recent panel so here you can see so you can simply swiping this one like this and then the application will be closed you can customize all the that options from here next one is expanded desktop if you want to uh, customize like per app you can do that next one is ad blocker if you want to disable ads you can do that and then you need to update the host file also Next one is the big clock blocker if you want to do that, if you want to play with that you can also do that. So this got crashed, I will go and turn off the app circle bar because I don't like that one. Next one is animation, you can customize all the system wide animations, let's do animations from here. Next one is the download center where you can download G apps, latest G apps, and PAG G apps. You can download different G apps from there on the flash. So that's all about the ROM specific settings that you can find in Dirty Tweaks. Next one is gestures. These are the three regular gestures, screen of gestures, and then it is the themes option. You can flash CM theme themes. And there's the normal display options. Other other CM related features are there. Nothing new. And here's the kernel auditor. This app is comes with this ROM, so you can find the details about the kernel. Every details about the kernel. You can change the, you can see the frequency table, and you can play with CPU features, CPU throttling, all these options you can play with. So that's all about the kernel auditor. And if you look at the camera, this is actually Google camera, nothing new. then change lock screen wallpaper you can do that from here by tapping here you can select and the, the, the Apollo is the music player with this and the ESP manager is there and here is the dirty you can updater so you can you will get the audio updater from there and this is the gallery messaging all the other settings are regular nothing new in there so this is all about the dirty unicorn rom it's better you try by yourself it's worth trying it's really fast and i already made a video on how to flash any custom rom on your oneplus one just go and get it there that's it thanks for watching please subscribe for more